We're increasingly facing, as scientists, more complex problems at larger scales. We live in an era where the, the bar is raised higher and higher for uh, these tough decisions to be supported by good science. In this era of dynamic change, understanding at a continental scale how land use, climate change, and invasive species affect the natural resources the public depends on has become a practical necessity. We've realized that the problems that we try and solve on an individual basis usually have tentacles out into other domains that are important to deal with and acknowledge and, and quantify if we want to solve the problems within our discipline. Now, a bold effort is underway to provide data to further understanding of these impacts on a massive scale. NEON, the National Ecological Observatory Network. For the next three decades, NEON will collect a comprehensive range of ecological data on a continental scale across 20 ecoclimatic domains representing U.S. ecosystems. NEON will use cutting-edge technology comprised of airborne observation that will capture images of regional landscapes and vegetation, mobile, relocatable, and fixed data collection sites with automated ground sensors to monitor soil and atmosphere, and trained field crews who will observe and sample populations of diverse organisms and collect soil and water data. A leading-edge cyber infrastructure will calibrate, store, and publish this information. The observatory network, with more than 100 towers, 30 aquatic sites, and three airborne platforms, will be the first of its kind designed to detect and enable forecasting of ecological change at a continental scale over multiple decades. We'll have access to new data and new collection systems and new parameters that we can measure here that we wouldn't otherwise have. The spatial scale, the temporal scale in which the data are being collected is going to give insights into how ecological systems are performing like we've never had before. NEON is a network and it's a network first of all of infrastructure but then it's going to be a network of ideas and I think that's very important to the advancement of ecological research. I think that NEON fundamentally changes the relationship between scientists and data. It enables their creativity. Data that NEON collects will be standardized and calibrated using rigorous quality control measures and delivered as specific data products that will be free and available via a public web portal to anyone who wants to access it, including scientists, educators, natural resource managers, decision makers, and the community. We'll have uh, insights uh, now that go well beyond the geographic boundaries of this location or even this region. Really what it does is allow the best minds to engage in scientific experiments and scientific in innovation that would be ordinarily beyond their means. One of the things about NEON and about network science and integrated science is as soon as you start pulling things together, that interact, the, the message becomes more powerful and the results become more robust. NEON data will help scientists understand and forecast the shifts in our natural world and help people who make pivotal decisions to obtain the comprehensive information they need. We can ask questions on a national and probably soon on a global scale that have to be asked if we're going to be managing our natural resources in any kind of sustainable way in the future. The NEON vision was originally conceived through workshops and brainstorm sessions supported by the National Science Foundation. These meetings were held around the country and included the voices of hundreds of scientists, educators, decision makers, and community members. The, the planning and development certainly never developed in isolation. There were always large groups of people coming to workshops on specific topics. Agency scientists, museum curators, all kinds of, of, of genetics and, and, and smaller scale biologists. Since NEON was conceived by people from all walks of life, it will serve as a resource for the community and will be a key partner and new scientific tool and research platform for dozens of programs and agencies. NEON's education program will provide resources to support public understanding of ecological and climate change at local, regional, and national levels.
NEON will be a facilitator of educational and research partnerships across the country. Uh, it will allow students and uh, researchers and members of the public to connect with each other within their immediate domain, within their environment around them, and to connect with others across the country. NEON is designed to be a long-term observatory, so scientists and decision-makers of the future will be able to look at impacts and patterns that could take 10 years or even longer to emerge. The NEON data program will produce scientific data that people who are not yet born will use for really cutting-edge science down the road. For almost five years, the NEON team has been focused on design, development, and prototyping of the observatory that has made this capability possible. NEON is your resource. It's a resource for the community, by the community. The time has come for NEON, our nation's first continental-scale observatory, to start working for you.